last night and went to the pub there which was called the waterside and it was a really good meal very nice like it. It. Yeah. very nice we'll be more in yeah we're more in the field because there's not many visitors moorings near the pub i mean we got you there went through a lot in the place at the other side didn't you yeah what time did we get we got there really about half past one two o'clock time but they were all taken up um, there's only about four moorings yeah but the field is fab and if you've got dogs it's great because there's loads of places for them to have a good run around so we're just going to take a slow cruise to Loughborough today and uh, a couple of logs about four or five miles yeah so it's not too far so uh, we've we'll made it well aren't we yeah we'll see what happens So just past this bridge we came across uh, new builds and you can see they've got some lovely houses and you can moor your boat in there and then a bit further up we saw this bright colour and we wondered what it was and it was a chap doing his wild swimming and uh, he said he thoroughly enjoyed it. And then just around the corner we saw the canoeists and it's quite a busy stretch and then this strange thing appeared with a family on sitting on chairs and they've got a little outboard motor on. It was a very strange uh, looking uh, boat. Very busy stretch of water, um, lots of different things around, and then this pink flamingo appeared with uh, a few people playing. And then to our right, we saw these horses, and it got a goat sat in between them all. So there were some lovely houses as you're coming down the saw uh, on the right hand side and some boats moored up in the gardens. It was a just really peaceful, pretty area. Obviously somebody had some problem uh, mooring straight up into the garden this time. Mm -hmm. 
Up the stretch and came round the corner and saw all these canoeists and I think their faces uh, were a bit more frightened than ours and they uh, started to scatter and uh, a couple of them were hanging onto the side as we went through. We did slow down obviously, we didn't want to uh, ruin anybody's Saturday afternoon and then we had one decide to shoot in front of us but uh, luckily Steve managed to steer through and uh, we came through the the bridge with no problems and no casualties. So just around this corner there was the first lock that we were going to be coming to so we've got the windlass and everything out and there's quite a busy round here and as you can see a couple of narrowboats were coming down and just as we got round the corner we could see this lady was waving so we started to slow down and we thought we were going to have to moor up and then we looked to our right hand side and there was a CRT locky which we weren't expecting and which was great so we went straight into the lock. Yeah, the lady was from this um, cruise plastic boat on the left hand side. Um, the lucky had obviously told them to wait so that we could go in first so there was no uh, squashing them or anything in the lock. Also, once we got inside, and uh, we tied up onto the right hand side the lock keeper we were having a chat with him and he said oh you've got all ants on your boat so from where we'd moored from last night um, the ants had decided to join us and we hadn't seen it so it gave us time Steve jumped off and gave it all a brush down the side of the gunnels to get rid of them all We thought this was the, going to be the second lock for the day, but it's a floodgate lock by the looks of things, so we're just going to smoothly go through, hopefully, so there's no gates having to open. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I suppose because it's lack of water at the moment, isn't it? So.
uh, now we were coming into Loughborough, it's getting built up again, and uh, we're just looking out for somewhere to moor, because in the Nicholson guide it gives you quite a lot of moorings. Um, but as we went through, you could see most of them weren't really suitable. Here on the left hand side was one of the first mooring spots that the Nicholson guide told us we could go on to but it was like on a private housing estate and it was all very very overgrown so we didn't think that was uh, the best place to stop so we kept going for a bit more. on the right hand side um, and it looked like offices and things like that on, on the car park so we moored up here um, and went for a walk into town and do some shopping and when we came back the boat in front of us had gone also so we did more up just as you're coming into Loughborough and went to the shops and everything. But for some reason, well, we were grounded, weren't we? Yeah. 
Very shallow. And I started cooking and we didn't move. We didn't like it, so we're now moving to a bit closer into town and there's also more boats moored because we were the only boat moored. So, so we eventually got moored up on the towpath and I cooked curry. We went blackberrying and made some blackberry gin and uh, we nipped to Pet Sara's and bought Mexi a paddling pool and also Steve managed to make a gate to stop her coming out at night time and I met up with an old work colleague which was fantastic so we had a good time in Loughborough um, the basin wasn't fantastic though to moor at thanks ever so much for watching if you haven't done so please do subscribe it's completely free and uh, we'll see you soon